I am back on OPG Clan Wars here on the realm because they are having another demo, another playtest, whatever. This is an upcoming extraction game that's currently in like alpha stage of development. But it's cool because it's going to be an extraction game that has team deathmatch included. And there's going to be a single player and even global mode. I don't even know what global mode is. But in the last video, I checked this stuff out. We checked team deathmatch out, raid, single player. And this time, in this update, you're allowed to... Oh, damn, man. I had an M4. I was just doing a video saying they have M4s and stuff now. But uh, they, I just updated the game, so they must have wiped my fucking backpack. You fucking bitch. You fucking fuck. All right, well, before we hit the raid, I'm going to have to go to the market and gear up again. I had a lot of M4 rounds. Right here. See, I had it in four rounds. Oh, shit. All right, so we can get a backpack. I can get better armor plates. Oh, I do need armor plates. I got 140 thou. Oh, okay. Boom. Oh, I can put another plate in there. Let's do that. Class three. <laughs> All right, I would have to do some raids to get money. Ah! I really like extraction games, though. Extraction games fucking rock. I'm not gonna lie. Like, I've said it before, it's the new genre coming up. Like, when I say coming up, I mean it's gonna take over uh, Battle Royales. They're on their way out. No one wants to play Battle Royales anymore. I mean, like, the trend of making them and just releasing shitty... Oh, shit, I didn't mean that. The trend of just making a Battle Royale just because it's popular is over. You're not seeing so many games being made anymore, which is very good. All right, so this, these traders are set up similar to Escape from Tarkov, as you can see. They all have their own purpose. I'm not really <laughs> focused on this part. Oh, let's get a suppressor. You know what? I will go as is. You know, I won't take a sight. We'll see how things play out without a sight. So, because it's an extraction game, there's multiple raid levels you could do. Uh, there's the village, depot, repair base, Tornio's Island. You know, let's check out the island. All right, here we are, Tornio's Island. I didn't play this uh, the last video I did, so this would make it only makes sense that I play it now. And all these money signs are like ATMs you get money with, and you obviously get money because you use that to buy better gear. Cause I just spent two thirds of my money, so I gotta make up for uh, <laughs> all the dollar dollar bills, y'all. Hello, anybody up here? Any enemies? Oh, there's an ATM right there. Perfect. We get the. Ch oh, and there's loot. Come on, let me in. Oh, I guess I can't get in. Damn it! I'm always scared to go in a building, so I don't want to get shot. Ooh. Oh, damn! Overload. What? See, that's weird. I couldn't just put that in a fireproof case. I don't get that. Alright, that's weird. <laughs> what about you? 12. Oh, that's shotgun ammo. Alright, so it seems like this fireproof case doesn't affect allowable weight. That's good to know. I, I really do like extraction games. Though. I've played quite a few on this channel, like Marauders, uh, The Cycle, which shut down. I don't know if I actually released the Cycle video. But there's a lot of them, and there's more coming out, and they're fi they're filling a whole bunch of different genres. All right, I need to leave with the money. Oh my god, Jesus Christ! Got him. All right, I need to do uh burst. Yeah, I guess I'll do burst. I should use a sight for this. But there's a lot of them that's been out, and they're filling a whole bunch of different genres. There is a high fantasy one. Like, it's pretty sick, actually. And I am going to do a video on that. And that one's co-op slash PvP. There's two different modes. I'm starting to notice that as Battle Royales fall out of favor and people are getting into the extraction game, the extraction genre, that there's a single player and co-op games coming out also. Like, there's uh, Operation... Wait, what is that? Uh, Red River? That's a co-op slash PvE one. There's just a lot of them coming out. 
So it's really cool that there is one that's aiming to tackle like a, a more Tarkov-like Tarkov feel, but adding Team Deathmatch too. Like this is a spiritual successor to Anarchy Wolf's Law, by the way. This game specifically, OPG Clan Wars. The people that made this made uh, Anarchy Wolf's Law, and I have a video of that game. I hope it's on this channel. <laughs> if not, it's on Zone Feed. Oh, look, there's not much to loot around. It's still being developed, but the world's nice. It makes it look really decrepit, wastelandish, Tarkovian, stalker like. I like that. I really like this look. Like, just an apocalyptic look. These extraction games always provide that, and I just love it. And I like the, the, the high risk, high reward of surviving in PvP. Extraction games are nice. <laughs> I'm just rambling on about extraction games, but there's a lot of them coming out. Like, there's quite a few that are aiming to be more... Oh, I already looked at that. There's quite a few that are going for a stalker slash metro feel, which I think would be interesting, instead of, like, human enemies, it's mutants and stuff. That'd be nice. Right, I don't know where I was being shot from. No way. Is that going to drop loot? <gasps> so if those other players in the world would be fighting over this. Alright. Good to know. I'm about to steal some money from that ATM also. That's in this building. You just got to see where you're dropping it. Where? All right, so. I'm, all right, so it's gonna be like way over here somewhere. It's good to know, I, I gotta go for it. But first I gotta get to the ass to mouth. Oh shit, what is this? Oh! Bruh, hold on. All right, we're going to move there. Boom. It's got to make space. AK-74M. All right. Hell yeah, I got to drag it off now. <laughs> I like that. All right, now let's go get this loot. Fuck the ATM. Ah, he fought it. Oh, my God. Oh, that was just so sudden and scary. God damn, that was so fucking scary. <laughs> See, I, I really like extraction games for that. Except that guy just spawned right on top of me. Normally, it would just be someone in the bushes or something. But that's like the awesome thing about extraction games. It, it takes like the Daisy survival PvP, but you know, adds an exit, so you're just not forever stuck in the world. Ah, there we go, I made a lot of money. Just sitting at these ass to mouth is... Alright, now I'm still looking for that, uh, drop. Wherever that was. I'm hunting it down. It, it, I know it's in this direction. Oh! Ho -ho! Fucking nasty. See, this is a really cool little spot. Like, I like this. It makes it good for close quarters, medium range. But there's just really not much reason to explore other than getting a couple mags or maybe finding a cool gun. Uh, I, I might as well extract. I'm not going to find that airdrop. Oh! Oh god, 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 no, he got me! What? That is some straight bullshit. I spent 100k and I lost it all because some AI got me in the forehead. Like, that's the cool thing about extraction games. Like, it's, it's like a... I mean, it, it's kind of like a battle royale, except you don't have to run to a middle point in the map. Like, you can explore the whole map until the time runs out. That's the difference. There's a time that runs out, and then you're either lost to the zone, or you die, or you just can't escape, and then you forfeit all your gear. So it's similar to a battle royale, but it's different, because it's, 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 I don't know how to explain it. Just battle royales are on their way out, extraction modes are on their way in, and it's just the evolution of the genre, essentially. 
And I'm really excited that uh, it's becoming popular and there's a lot of games coming out. I said, I already said there's a couple, there's a lot of them. And I plan on playing some. Hopefully there's more fantasy ones. But I don't know what I'm going to use. I'm going to use AKMS. Might as well. Do I got ammo for it? No, I do not. And I bet you that ammo is expensive. I might as well just use uh, an SVD and get ammo for that. Fuck it! So here's my character now. I only spent like 20k. <laughs> Let's hope I don't lose it on this next raid. But we're going to check out... I don't want to do team deathmatch. No one plays that. We're going to do raid. That's the point. It's an extraction game. Let's check out village. All right, so we're in the village, and there is no map. That fucking sucks. And the village is just a remake from uh, of the world and Anarchy Wolf's Law. It used to be like a one-for-one -one remake, but now it's like modified, and you still recognize a lot of stuff. But uh, I know my discussion about extraction games are a bit sloppy and all over the place because I'm trying to play this game and not die <laughs> but I really love the genre and I do have I do believe 100% that it's on its way to becoming like the popular genre just like battle royales were I mean escape from Tarkov is the big example and then you have Call of Duty making their own extraction game I mean if Call of Duty is copying it that means the genre the mode whatever it's on its way to becoming mainstream or just becoming like popular like battle royales so it's pretty nice to find games in development that are extraction games because you get to see ah oh, people are going to be playing this or you get to see what's coming out and what to expect and get a sneak peek you get you get to try a lot of different things out ah i'm being shot i don't want to die here's what we're going to do we're going to move ak here damn it can i switch out yeah, okay, I was going to say, can I switch out at least? Oh, shit, I don't have SVD rounds. I'm a big dumbass! Looks like I'm going to have to switch. <laughs> I'm an idiot! Alright, well. Shit. Shit balls. I need to sell some stuff. Are we automatic? Yeah, we have to be automatic, right? Automatic! See, uh, stuff like this is super fun to me because one small, like, loot mistake, one small, like, loadout error, it could fuck your whole entire playthrough up and you could lose everything. You're kind of like a daisy. If you don't have the right gear, the right equipment when you're running out in the world and trying to face other players, it could cost you everything. And that's the cool thing about extraction games. You're not having to run, you're not trying to survive a storm and be, her, uh, you know, huddled together in a small little area. You get to explore the whole map and get in fights throughout, and you're all fighting for the limited loot on the map. I don't know, I just think it's better, funner. I don't like being uh, huddled together, but I don't mind that time limit either. Oh, I remember this, this is from Anarchy's Wolf's Law. I think. No, I don't. I don't recognize this at all. <laughs> I'm just exploring the map and talking. I recognize this from Anarchy Wolf's Law. Alright, so this is the gas station. The, like, it's the first point you capture in Anarchy Wolf's Law. Except there is no wall surrounding it, and it's slightly changed. But right here's the gas station. There's usually a trader behind the table. Or the whatever. The counter. And then this door is usually uh, closed, I think. Ah, it still has a ladder. That's sick. Alright. This game's nice. Too bad there's not enemies spawning in, so I can't really shoot it out. But, I mean, I got to check it out, check out the update, and talk about extraction games. Do you guys, uh, like extraction games? Do you guys agree that it's on its way to becoming the popular genre? It's gonna be dominant. There's so many games coming out, they just need a player base. They just need more attention to it, and boom! We're good. We had the cycle, which shut down, Marauders, Tarkov, uh, that Call of Duty mode. We have this, OPG Clan Wars. Uh, there's Project, no, Expedition Agartha, which is a high fantasy extraction game. Then you have Vigor, uh, uh, quite a few Stalker-like ones, not Stalker-like like ones, but Metro-esque looking. There's a lot coming out. So the genre is going to take over 2024, 2025. But that was OPG Clan Wars, just checking out the update and the game in general, and talking about extraction games. I mainly wanted to talk about the extraction games. 
Do you guys like extraction games? I already asked that. <laughs> Have a good one. Uh, I can't wait to be able to play the newer ones coming out or wait until they release to play them. But till then, I'm just going to play a lot of random games. Subscribe to my channel if you want to see me just play oh, extraction games or if you want to see other gaming videos. And also, be sure to check out the realm. Every, the realm. <laughs> the realm. Check out the realm. Check out the realm. It's a weekly podcast I'm doing where I just talk about video game stuff. There might be more than one a week, but minimum one a week. Have a good one, everybody. Stay safe. Be sure to support the realm. Check me out on Twitter at the underscore magic name. I'm out.